Yeah, I do ride a bike. How'd you know? With Shake and Sugar, I've recently taken up the hobby of bike riding, but there's one major flaw with bikes. You just don't look cool on them, okay? I have to look cool at anything that I do, all right? I have to be good at things that are cool. That's why my chest rating is so low. It's because it's not cool, all right? But not to worry, I've got some excellent ideas I think the biking industry would greatly benefit from. So as the kids say, let me break it down for you. Now, as I said, the biggest flaw with biking is that it just isn't cool. You kind of look like a dork on your bike, to be honest with you. When has anybody ever said, oh, that bicyclist we just passed on the road looked really cool? That is probably the first time in human history anyone's ever said that sentence. Go look up cool in the dictionary. Okay, first you'll see me. Then you'll see stance trucks. Speed, that one actually is pretty cool, and low riders. The biggest flaw for speed in a regular bicycle is that it's only got one driving wheel. Now, let me show you a little diagram. It might be a little advanced for some of you, but you can clearly see that one is less than two, or two is greater than one. You can actually say that either way. So if we add more wheels, it's just simple physics that will go faster. Let me drop some advanced mathematics on you. Given that a top speed of a bicycle is probably around 30 miles per hour, and we add five wheels to the back, so that's times five, if my math is correct, 130 miles per hour is our new top speed. Now that we got our speed issue figured out, we just gotta wait till the 3D printer's done, and we'll have our height and our stance figured out as well. So we'll just sit back and relax and wait a little bit. Today we're out here in the heart of Tokyo. Let me walk you through some of the features of the Bubblegum Rider. Now starting in the front, we have a seven and a half inch 3D printed front wheel. And we have zero clearance between the bottom of the pedal and the ground. And then a solid axle, chain driven with five driving wheels in the rear. And of course, no low rider is complete without spinners. Now obviously the design of the bike is extremely cool, but let's go take her for a test spin and see how she does. Now there's an important design lesson to be learned here. Apparently when you need to make a chain driven machine, you should make the actual gears line up on the same plane so the chain doesn't keep slipping off. We've been here for like 15 minutes and the chain has slipped off 30 times already. So um, I, I am interested in seeing how these wheels hold up after a while because they are printed and uh, don't have very thick wall thickness. And you can see there's already a bunch of damage on these wheels. So I'm gonna, push it with my feet like a good old Freddy Flintstone uh, for a mile and see how it does. Bye! Hope he makes it. It's been only half a mile now and I gotta hand it to old Fred. It is way harder to pedal with your legs than it looks. I'm dying out here. I'm not the only one who's dying out here though. You can see the front wheel has suffered some pretty severe damage. Um, the road hasn't been very kind to it. It is full of cracks and potholes. Now the rear wheels are faring a little bit better. I'm gonna assume that's because five of them so they can disperse the weight a little bit better. But you can see that the main rear wheel is cracking a little bit and it's got a bunch of potholes in it. Also my rear axle has shifted over quite a bit so I'm gonna have to uh, fix that before we get going again. But like any good biker, I packed a little lunch for my ride so let's dig into that first. As a responsible bikerist, you know I like to count calories and eat healthy and whatnot so I packed a little lunch today. Um, looks like we got some celery in here. Um, good looking orange. You know I don't let them go bad. They're too expensive. Uh, carrot is pretty good. Found it out of the ground. And of course I got some dip with me. I know everybody's like, oh, there's calories in the dip. There's calories in the dip. Well, I only pack water for my dip. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. After that nutritious lunch, honestly, a little too much for me. Uh, you know, I couldn't eat all of it, but that's just me. <laughs> 
about time to head back. So another half mile, hopefully that front wheel will survive. Uh, we'll see. Well, it's been just over a mile now, and here's the aftermath. I went through and picked up as many pieces of the wheel as I could find on the road, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty well damaged. It was uh, shaky enough on the way back to knot my chain up, knot my back up. Not great. My spinner even fell off. Got to hand it to the rear wheels, though. They held up pretty well. Um, not any significant damage. I think it's because there was so many of them. So if anyone's out there looking to 3D print hard plastic bike wheels, make a lot of them and uh, hope for the best, I suppose. So was it cool? Yeah. Okay. Anybody with three eyes can see that. Did it work? No, N not at all. It, it really didn't. However, we did learn some good life lessons here. Um, adding more wheels doesn't actually just mean more power, believe it or not. I, that seems like common sense to me, but Anyway, a more accurate name for this bike would be the world's worst bicycle. Actually, it's not even a bicycle, it has six wheels, so what, that makes it a sexicle? I had a lot of fun making this stupid idea come to life, and I don't even know why I thought of it in the first place. Um, but if you want to see more dumb videos, or you like watching dumb things come to life, uh, let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. Oh. How embarrassing, you've caught me reading a big boy book with big words. I suppose you want your two facts for the day, don't you? Now remember, only one of these is real, okay? So today on November 12th in 1980, the US space probe Voyager 1 reaches Saturn. For the second fact, on today, November 12th, 1922, Stan Lee, creator of Marvel Comics, was born. Now, go off and argue amongst yourselves in the comments about which one you think is real.